Hello everybody and welcome back to Games Grotto. My name is Omni and we're continuing Bloodborne. You can already tell. Well, actually you can't because my head's there. But I have no more souls. Bloods, echoes, whatever. And you know why? Because I died a lot. Too much. Three times and then I gave up on Bloodborne. I was like, fuck it. I went a different way. Which is actually the way I should go, but I'll do that some other time. I already started going this way, so I'll meet you at the very end of this place. I don't know why I didn't start the episode there, but who knows. I might encounter something there. Explosion. Pick up those blood vials. And I didn't go this way, but I do want to go the other way. Because I still have to find another damn lantern. And I want to see how close I got to finding a lantern by going this way. Because my instincts were going off and I kept saying, Oh, there's going to be a boss, there's going to be a boss. I know there's going to be a boss. There's going to be a boss. So, I want to see if that was true. And I want to see if this pig will run into the fire. Yep, he did. I'm still a lot stronger, because I managed to keep some of the souls I lost. Because I had 50k souls, and I came up to this point, and then I got fucking killed by the, uh, the pig again. So, actually, the total amount of deaths I have are, if I can remember, I had 42. So, I think I have 45 now. Great. So I went up this way and I got a rune. Uh, I got a rune called Clockwise Metamorphosis. The secret symbol left by a Berrigan word. It looks actually like my symbol that I made, but no, it's it's not. It's going this way. Mine goes straight down. A secret symbol left behind. Yeah, a twisted cross means metamorphosis. Rotate clockwise, the rune boosts. Rotate clockwise, this rune boosts HP. The discovery of blood made the dream of evolution a reality. Metamorphosis and the excessive... Oh, shit. The excessive... Excessiveness... Exce ex the excesses and devi deviation that followed were only the beginning. Why the hell had I had a hard time reading that? So we're going to go down this way. Let's see if any of that means anything. If this is actually a boss, and I called it. Or it wasn't a... No! It was a boss, and there's three of them! And one has magic! Fuck magic! No! 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 God, no! Shadow of Yarnum! No! They all have... No, he has fire! He's got magic! There's no such thing as magic in this world! Oh god, oh god, no, I don't like magic, I don't like magic, I don't like magic, I don't like magic! No! Ha ha ha! No! Alright, I gotta deal with one at a time. One at a time. You! <laughs> no! Ah! No! Ouch! They all have nice swords though. Eh! Eh! I gotta get away from them. Eh! Eh! You! I see fire! No! No! Stay away! No! 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 Fire bad! I'm trying to see if I can get him to... Oh god. I'm not doing so well. In health. He's almost dead. Oh no! He evolved! 
He's got snakes now. Is this going to be so much freaking harder? Oh, they all got snakes. They're all a lot fucking harder. Ouch. Okay, there's him. Take up that. What? He was nowhere near me! Okay. Eh. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I have to really focus on this. Hey. What? No! Bullshit. That was complete bullshit. Where is he? Which one? Where? There he is. But there he is. Hey! Hey! Come on! Take the time. And do it. Come on. Oh god. Ho 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 ho. Whoa! I took a fucking risk and a half. Where is he? There he is. Got him! Yes! That's one down! Oh god. There he is. And there he is. I think I might have to go after you. Oh god. You magic and I hate magic and I hate range oh. damn it and perfect timing it couldn't be better oh that was awesome I just have to do it at the correct time oh, oh god Damn it. I'm gonna take this just in case. Uh, uh, eh. Take another one. Oh, he died! Yeah! Yeah! Now you're all that's left. Doing something big. Oh. Oh, fuck no. No! Oh! All right, Magic Man dies first. I am so warm right now. You do not know. And it's not, it's not even the weather. I am just, my blood is boiling because of that. I'm scared, I was nervous, and I'm angry. angry. Not angry, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I'm enjoying the fact that, okay, I'm learning what to do. Because it's a boss I've never faced before. But it, uh, again, it's also a boss... Fuck that. It's a boss that... Um, I just died to again. I probably shouldn't be as worked up. And I probably... It's bad for my health. Because I am really, really warm. I gotta lay off the soda. Shoot the fucking bad mother. Mm. Mm. Let's beckon someone to come. While we wait for somebody to answer my call, I got this, a tonsil stone, uh, perhaps a meteorite, appears useless but possesses some odd gravitational force that prevents, uh, that prevents its 
riddance. A dubious soul once said, Step lightly round the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. I have no idea where this goes, but I found it from a guy that was on the other path going up to up the other way, basically. Yeah, and he gave it to me. Hunter goes driving the land, so you take the land, I want forever engaging in the land, fade and help. I don't know what the Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter does either. I'm probably going to have to go onto a wiki and look this up for the Tonsil Stone and the Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter. But, uh, to the right of the Great Cathedral, if I had to take a guess, it would be near the workshop. It probably is, because what, right when you go into the cathedral that where we go for safety... Um, to the right there's a door, and I go all the way up, but then there's a door on the very top of the workshop that's locked. So maybe this has something to do with it? Or not? There's also... I didn't get, um, any new weapons yet. But I did get new armor. Uh, where? You remember I got the black church garb. So, the healing church hunters. And then I got surgical long gloves from them. But I also got white church. So there's black and white. And then the, you already know I got the tome prospector. Um, Henrix. The... Uh, the, the crows, uh, the graveyard, and that's it. I don't know what's better. I don't know what is better. So let's find out. The hunter's hat. It's better in blunt, but it sucks in poison frenzy, stuff like that. This is pretty good on poison, but not good in frenzy. Very poor in frenzy and blood beast hood. It's good in blood defense, arcane firebolt, and damage reduction. So, I like this attire a lot more. That is an interesting weapon. Ooh. 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 Where? Where? <gasps> Hooray! Thankless Almen. I don't know about that, but let us go. All right, you get one of them. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Woo. Okay, I'm being a dumbass. Okay. Whoa! Ah, oh, shit! No! Huh? Oh, fuck! Yes, it's dead! I'm gonna go after this guy and help him out. No! Stop! No. No. All right. Yeah, we did it. Ha. Yes. 
<laughs> Blood Rapture. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yay. Whee! What was that? Oh. Bye, thankless all man. Light lamp. Oh. Oh, yes. Thank freaking God. Why is my bell? Does that stay on? Ooh. Nice. And I got two. I got two insight for that. Yeah. Let's go back to the hunter's dream, though. I want to level up just a teeny bit. And I need to get those blades of mercy next. Nothing new. Okay. But I did get a new rune. Uh, let's find out what that does. Blood Rapture. A cryo rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. Blood Rapture is the raw eru erufa, erufa of the warmth of blood. Restores HP with versatile attacks. One of the darker hunter techniques. This rune resonates with servants of the queen, carrier of the child of blood who yearn for their queen's blood with little hope of requitalment. For them, they find solace in blood rapture that serves as a, surgit, a surrogate, my bad, for their desires. Gruesome. Gruesome, indeed. Let's, uh, fortify. Can I... I don't got anything for thing I want. I got something for Ludwig's. But I need more bloodstone shards. I'll go buy. I'll go buy them and save up. That is probably the scariest thing I'll ever see. Well, this is probably one of the scariest things. To have a pig mutate to this size and and um eat humans? It's gross. I do understand pigs are omnivores, but mostly the diet consists of being herbivore. I see you. You ain't gonna fuck with me. Come on, stick out your hand. Stick out your hand and try and grab me. It'll make this shit a whole lot easier. Okay, I still don't know how to combat these guys fairly well. I know, but when they grab out for an attack, I can shoot my gun and they'll instantly um, just fall down and I can fuck with them. This is a shortcut. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this a shortcut? fucking is. God damn it. Oh my god, I've been... Uh, uh, kill me now. Kill me now. <laughs> is there any secrets that I'm just passing by? Well... I seem to be walking on air. And I fell. Hurts. I see you. What the hell are you? Madman's knowledge. Where the fuck are you? What are you? You're not good. That's disgusting. Oh, there's more of you? you? Seem easy enough, but I bet if I get hit by you once, I turn fr I turn crazy. What are those? 
Anemones? Oh, oh god, they're arcanic. They're arcanic! Very deadly arcanic! Come on! I got stuck! Oh, fuck that! What the hell? But you know what? I want to make this a lot easier. And I found out... I... Yeah, I found out that I can do this and teleport somewhere else and still be able to get my blood echoes back. I was so surprised because I was like, I gave up on getting back 10k, um, 10k blood echoes, but then I went all the way back and voila, they were still there on the guy and I was like, oh cool, I killed him, got my echoes back and that was pretty damn good, that was pretty damn cool. Also, constantly check back at all the um, all the places that you talk to a person like their dialect will be different and also if they you talk through a window and they didn't accept your help beforehand you can talk to them again and their dialogue will change they'll either listen to you cooperate with you or they'll be your friend for one, I got a whore, I found a whore, and a shady man, who just trusts no one. Yes, she is, and I did call her a whore, because that's what she calls herself, and she that's what she was. Fuck that. Uh-huh. But yeah. She also offered her blood, which I do not know what her blood will do for me, so I declined it. So I'm going to look into that to see what it does. I know I probably shouldn't, and I'll feel wrong doing that, but all for the sake of knowing what is right and what is not, I do not know. I'm gonna Molotov the balls out of you. Take that, asshole. I can easily kill you. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Ah, oh, you have my souls, you <laughs> turd. I keep calling them souls, but they're called blood echoes, I know. But anti-clockwise metamorphosis. I want to see that. Alright, now we got clockwise and anti-clockwise. The secret left behind. The twisted metaphorist rotate clockwise and the room boosts stamina. Rotated anti-clockwise, this room boosts stamina. So this one boosts health and this one does stamina. Interesting. Very interesting. This is a trap, isn't it? Not taking a chance. Gonna jump back. Madman's knowledge, nice. I can always use more insight. You're gonna do something, aren't you? I'm not gonna let you. Never give them a chance. Arcane blood gemstone. More madman's knowledge and dead end. Is this really all this place was? A dead end? Really? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna end the episode. Is it? Yeah, it is. I guess so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe to stay updated on more of my content. And remember that Gamers Grotto... Uh, and remember that Gamers Grotto is home for all games to all gamers, so don't be afraid to recommend any game to me. Thank you, and have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.